Hey yo, what's goody all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U? It's your boy Jay Nut over here at Hookah Nucka, and today I got a brand new hookah review for all of you. That was a terrible drum roll. Hey, what's goody everybody? Welcome back to the show. Like I mentioned, I got a brand new hookah review for all of you. And this has been highly anticipated. I've heard a lot of buzz about this hookah and we got a lot to talk about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. This is the Zara Spade hookah. Bang, bang, bang. I have absolutely no idea how that bang, bang, bang came out. Hopefully it was good. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanna give a very big super shout out to the great folks over at Zara for sending this out my way. I really appreciate it. This is something I was really actually looking forward to seeing the feedback on it. And lo and behold, I get to test it out myself. And just let me tell you right off the bat, two thumbs up. All right, so your Zara Spade is gonna come in this beautiful packaging equipped with the handle. If you have a good packer, they're gonna throw a fragile sticker on there, like so. All right, so before I even open this baby up, I gotta say, in my testing, this hookah performs excellent. And the cherry on top with all this is that this hookah is under $100. Can you believe it? I know I couldn't believe it, especially after I tested this. Now, this looks immaculate, it looks dope, but the one thing that kind of threw me off is that it's a four hose port, up to four hoses. Now, I'm not a big multi-port hose port kind of guy. I just like my one port and my purge port, and I'm good to go. But I said, you know what? I'm gonna come into this with an open mind, and I'm gonna be fair, and wow, I was not let down. Let's go ahead and open up the Zara Spade. All right, so this is kind of a janky angle, but this is the best I could do, so bear with me, guys. So let's go ahead and open this beast up. Now, the first thing you're going to see is the Zara welcome letter. It's got some good information on here. It's a quick start guide, has uh, numbers you can call if you have questions, and then we have a really cool diagram of all the pieces and parts of a hookah and just some more instructions to help you out if you need it. Next we have this beautiful paper, um, just like a cover sheet if you will. Pretty fancy, pretty dope. I like the presentation. All right, so now that you've seen all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out pieces and then we're gonna start going over everything. Okay, first up, you're gonna have this. Now, I've arranged it kind of nicely, so um, everything else was not arranged like this, but all these items were in here. Now, what is this? This is going to be an attachment for your host port. Now, in this, I have spare parts. We have O-rings, we have uh, little purge balls. It's great. So, uh, this is actually a purge too, if need be. And I'll explain more about that once we get into the hookah. <laughs> Let's get on to the next item. All right, so the next item is going to be your tray. Now, obviously, I've smoked out of this, I've opened this, but I repacked it so you all can see kind of what to expect when you get your spade. Now, here's my tray. It's gonna be this beautiful green color. Uh, not quite sure if what kind of like plating this is on here, if this is kind of like a powder coat. Not 100% sure how this was applied to this piece, but it doesn't look like just regular paint from a paintbrush. This looks pretty, pretty damn spiffy, you can see. And then notice how there's bumps on the, on the coal tray. So if you do have your coals resting on the tray, it still allows it to get the airflow under them so they don't totally black out on you. So I love that Zara was thinking about that in designing this tray. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not too, too heavy, but it's definitely not light. It feels, um, it feels sturdy. It feels like there's quality here. So I'm really pleased with this tray. And as you can tell from the color of this, 
This is the Rasta, which I dubbed my Rasta Monster. Absolutely love this color. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful hookah, and we'll get more into that later. But it's gonna come in this plastic bag. Uh, you rip it open, and voila, you pull out your freaking stem. And this is just beautiful. It's going to have the same type of coating that the tray has. Now, I will say to be very, very, very gentle with this. Don't take some type of a pot scrubber to clean this. I would say just kind of rinse it off with water and then take a paper towel and wipe it down. The reason I say that is because I noticed on the bowl port, we have a little bit of paint stripping here. It's nothing major. You're never gonna really see it when you're smoking with it because the bowl's gonna cover that up. But it just kind of reminded me to just be careful with this and don't just go to town scrubbing this to clean it. You shouldn't have to clean it like that anyway. It should just require an easy wipe down with water and paper towel. I'd go with lukewarm water, nothing crazy, nothing too hot, and you could even get away with cold water if you really wanted to. If you did want to use your pot scrubber, you can go ahead and use that on the stem, but you really don't need to. Yeah, that's one thing I did notice. It's not too much of a dislike um, because you won't see it when you have your bowl over it, so I wouldn't even worry about it. It could just be the heat that's going to happen, you know, because that's how it reacts to all that heat that's in this area of the stem, but everything else should be just fine. Don't toss this around so paint chips or anything like that. All right, so as I mentioned, you're going to have an extra extender for your hose port. Now, it is going to come with three additional purge valves, which is super awesome. And if you wanted to go ahead and use this, you can just insert it like that and boom, you put your hose in here. Now, I found that this isn't the best, 100% best way to smoke out of this. It works, it's functional, and it serves its purpose, but if you're smoking by yourself, I don't believe that you will really need this extender. Something I noticed with this when I did try to use it is that my hose kept falling out of here more often than not. Maybe it was user error and I wasn't getting a tight enough seal, and that's perfectly understandable, but it was just something I really didn't want to deal with, so I chose to use a walk around, which I will go over later in this video. Now the benefits of having this is if you're smoking with friends and they're noobs, and sometimes they forget to cover their hose whenever you're pulling so you're not getting that maximum draw effect from your hookah. Well, what Zara did was they created this, which is super awesome. I've never seen anything like it, but then again, I don't have much experience with multi-hose port hookahs. But you could take one of the spare uh, purge balls, you could place it in here, screw it back on, okay? Now you have an automatic sealer, so if you're smoking with friends, when they pull it, they will be able to pull the smoke because the way it's designed, the purge ball will lift up and you will be able to inhale smoke. That's more of an exhale motion. You'll be able to inhale smoke and then you just won't be able to purge it, which I really don't like my guests to have the power of purging. I'm sorry, if it's harsh for them, I'll purge it if they need me to. I just really don't like for them to have that power. So if you're going to be smoking with a noob, this is gonna be your best friend because there's nothing worse then waiting for them to smoke and you're holding your hose right in your face and then they purge and you just get their breath and the purge all in your face. It's no bueno. Now since we're talking about accessories to the hookah, I will go ahead and get into one of the purge valves. This also unscrews. I don't know why you would ever need to do it, but if you wanted to clean your purge system out, I guess this is available for you to do. Just be careful you don't drop your purge ball down the, down the sink. Uh, but this unscrews and it's just your typical purge valve. It's equipped with its O-rings. It fits nice and snug into your Zara spade. So it's very functional. It works great. I've had zero issues. I guess after you wash it or after a use, you might want to pull it out and shake it up just so the purge ball isn't stuck in there but you have two other purge valves to work with. So as long as you can purge out of one, you should be all right. Now I talked about a walk around. If you're smoking solo, you don't wanna use this. You don't need to use it. This is the noob attachment, I like to call it. So we're gonna remove that. 
all you got to do, and big shout out to Dude Where's My Hookah, because I believe he's the one that put me onto this. Just take a grommet, fits right in there, and you smoke it kind of like a Regal, and it smokes beautifully. And I will show you all that when we demonstrate how this puppy smokes. Mm. All right, so the next thing I want to get into is the hose and purge port holes at the bottom of the hookah or in the heart of the hookah. You have one, two, three, four separate chambers, if you will, uh, and it's beautiful. I love that. If you're going to use all four hoses to smoke out of and smoke with three of your friends, this is beautiful. There's no common chambers. Everything is separate. It's its own stream of smoke. And that's beautiful. I love that Zara paid attention to detail with that. We got some pretty good size there. As far as the down stem, we got a pretty good size here too. I want to say that's maybe half an inch in diameter. I could be wrong. I didn't measure it. But uh, you got a, a nut at the end of this. And if you don't, if you want to use a diffuser and it's not fitting over that nut, no problem, Zara thought of that. You can just unscrew it. No biggie. You could just unscrew it and there you go. The threading on this is pretty good. I don't feel like it'll strip or anything like that. I feel like it's very durable. They paid attention to detail in the construction of everything you see here and I love that. Now it is going to come with a base grommet, at least mine did, which is gonna fit most bases. So that's excellent. Now your down stem is going to be roughly about eight inches. So take that into consideration when you are looking for a base to purchase for this hookah. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with one, but I'm sure Zara makes some beautiful bases that will fit this perfectly. But if you decide to go a different route like I'm about to go, then it's important that you know your specs of your down stem. So if all the spades are similar, expect about eight inches from here to here. And for those keeping score at home, from this area to right here, it's about an inch and a half. So I guess you could call it just under 10 inches or nine and a half inches from the top of the base to where the end of the stem will flow. Now there's not much else to say about the Zara Spade other than it's got a little bit of weight to it. This definitely feels like quality and I love that. I love those heavier hookahs. It just feels more sturdy and you worry less about knocking it over when you're smoking it. This is just a great hookah and to be valued under $100, you are definitely getting your bang for your buck with the Zara Spade. I highly recommend this if you're on a budget or even if you're not, this is just a great sexy piece to have in your collection. I think there's red, blue, and black are the other colors aside from the Rasa that's available. This one, it just stood out to me. I mean, if you wanna take away that green, you got that Iron Man effect there, but I guess it's going to more so symbolize a Jamaican type theme and I love that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and I'm gonna show you how this baby smokes. We'll be right back. All right, so now we got everything set up. You saw me trying to get it going and I think we're at that perfect point to where this is gonna be smoking beautifully. Now, all I wanna say is the only thing that I included that doesn't come with this hookah is gonna be my boho base in my B2 hose with my Dashini tip. You know I gotta use that gold Dashini tip because it just goes oh so beautifully with the Rasta Monster. Uh, it is also equipped with a good fella bowl with one sheet of standard def, def, why did I say def? One sheet of standard aluminum foil and an apple on top provost with two coconut flat coals by Dashini as well. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice a beautiful wide open draw. This thing smokes beautifully. 
Flavors are on point. I'm able to pinpoint exactly what I'm smoking, and I love that. I can't say that about 100% of the hookahs I've reviewed, but this one for sure is on point, so thumbs up on that Zara. Now, I did mention that this is included with three purges if you're not going to use them to smoke with your friends. Let's go ahead and watch how everything purges. Two breaths and that base is cleared. Now I am smoking this without a diffuser, which is my preferred way to smoke this. I have tested it with a Pharaoh's diffuser and a Heba diffuser. The Pharaoh's diffuser dramatically restricts this hookah, which you don't wanna do. You wanna enjoy that nice, full flavor and pullingness and wide open draw of this hookah. So I don't think you really need a diffuser. As far as the Heba diffuser, it worked, but I didn't really see much of a difference. The rumbling was still there. Um, I mean, it, it silenced it a little bit, but it didn't make a big enough difference for me to want to smoke this with the diffuser, so I just take it raw as it was intended to smoke. All in all, guys and girls, this is a beautiful hookah. You are going to love it. This is definitely aesthetically pleasing. This definitely serves its purpose. It functions beautifully. This is probably my favorite hookah right now. I know I say that a lot when I get a new hookah, but I really, really, really love this hookah. And the thing that's the best about this hookah is that it's under 100 bucks. I think it retails at like $79.99 or something like that. You'll definitely have to go to the websites to figure it out. I believe Zara has a website it's available at and I'll include that in the description. And I believe it's gonna also be carried over at fivestarhookah.com. Big shout out to Alex and Mary always holding it down for your boy. And I don't think this is gonna be on sale. So if you want an even more value on this, does that even make sense an even more value? If you want an even better value on this hookah, type in that discount code and I got you. So folks, that's gonna wrap up the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of information out of this. I had a lot of fun smoking out of this hookah and testing it. So much fun that I think this is gonna be my daily smoker from here on out. That's a bold statement, but I really, 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 really love this hookah. And like I said, you can't beat the value of it. I don't think there's any better hookah out there for that price. Seriously, you gotta check this out. So I'm gonna take you out properly. I got a ton of more reviews coming and I will see you all on the next one. Deuces.